Spike ticking away. Nags playing up close first. The dash come through, and you already see the spam coming through. Smokes as well. Melser still playing from backside as a couple of members of Cloud9 have fallen. Numbers in favor of crew here. Zep all on the other side of the smoke, only getting one. Blazer clears, there's a paranoia you were just referring to. Two down, that's three down. As Cloud9, I cracked the round wide open. And meanwhile, Cruz is trying to smoke off the turret to get out here while all that's going on. But when the main tip fails... Seeker's invested. You hear the ult used. Rooney's getting the first onto Kesnet. Leaf is here too. I don't know if they realize this. Oh, Nags, <laughs> Nags may not have known, but he took care of him anyway. Seems like it's going to have to be a ferocious left. attempt. Last time we were in this position, the utility this that Cruz is using to delay is just so effective. But oh, just finds an opening. Jade does too. And they get the sight back. Been in this position multiple times, but Crew has not actually had to face it. Oh, those Seekers are so persistent. The flash on the other side of the smoke. And Jake looking to reposition. Play oh. a little bit closer. But Melster's timing is gorgeous. It's just in time to get the players off. Leaf still finds a kill, though. And it, despite everything, that Quite looks planted. like Crew should have been advantage. No, the early pick. Down in mid from Zelsis with the Odin. Still has it. Still working his way out towards the site. He's up in heaven right now. Joined by the other two members of Cloud9. Melser playing down low. Leaf cleans him up, leaving Nax by himself. Davies All comes down. Yeah, how well Davies can hold this. Oh, they just closed the door late. They're going to have to spend time breaking while they're fighting and pushing a pinch. How does Leaf survive that? Kazuna takes down Zelsis. It all falls down on Rooney. A 1v2. And time is up, the essence. The dark cleared. He doesn't realize that there's somebody behind him. There's no way you consider something like that. Not in a situation like this. Well, the delay. They get the information set up. And Jake perfectly. What a cheeky spot. They invested the Trailblazer and everything because they wanted to take this fight to Crew. Crew's not quite done with it yet. Despite the fact that Cos missed every single pulse. Lockdown. Maybe spammable if Rooney gets close enough, but Kesnet just jumps up. Gonna take quite some time finally breaking that turret. Zappa with a frenzy. They don't check this. They know now. Oh dear. <laughs> well. But this is taking so much time. I mean, we've yeah, already spent like 20 seconds just getting these Here. players up into B main right now. Yeah, just setting up for the fight. You're right. And he's already ready for them. I mean, Leaf is already marking out, pinging where the dart is gonna land ahead. because he knows where Klaus is coming from. There it is. He missed it. Oh. Went off the map. Time is so short right now. I don't know that crew are gonna have enough time to do this. And now with Leaf still playing on site, they desperately need the pistol, and it does not go their way. There again, remember we talked about how crew went for this pick. Same outcome though, this time for crew. Leaf played online. Right click, maybe. He wants to go. And Zappa swings out at the same time. Once again, you're seeing dynamic peaks out from Cloud9, overwhelming the opposition. 2v2 here, Cloud9 have gotten the site, they have the spike, they are getting it planted. Spike planted. A Take Phantom flight. and Odin in the hands of the defense. And the drone now out. Enemy oh no, Zeppa can't get spammed here. Ooh. Ow, just barely. Stand Still a dart head. for Klaus. He's looking for another target, anyone to get lit up. You can bring remaining. the pain and punish, but leave with three. The Guardian's still in play. Nags gets it to a 1v1, but Zeppa cleans it up. Kesna with the Guardian trying to find an early pick as Cloud9 trampled their way forward, and Leaf does eventually fall. But now without Melser meeting his death either. Kerr just so far away here. Nags is still just working across the middle of the map, and Kesna's left in this fight where he's having to deal with so many different targets without any help. You I mean, should run. There's a flood attempt there from Kerr. But it's splintered because of the mollies from Rooney. Finally, he falls, and they're gonna try to push this lockdown. Oh, Jake. Success so far. 3v2. Cloud9 gotten it down to a 2v2 now. Zelsus is still dancing around. Not many bullets left in the clip. And it's all gonna be on to Zelsus. Takes a step back. Ooh. Gets pressured. Still finds find time to reload. Davies, half, pulls off. Zelsus with the Red Bull clutch. That's gotta be a dagger. Situation two, where he's yep. trying to throw his knife. Klaus finding a little bit of something. You see Kesner tried getting high ground over the cover. He's not able to punish Lee. Finally, it goes his way, Kurt. But even if Nags gets, I mean, they're oh, the stun. it's considered. The Trailblazer was well done. I look at the pivot back immediately, and there's no info here for crew. The smoke as well. Just got placed down. Time just ticks away. 
desperation for the side of crew and a huge moment it's gonna fall down to a 1v1 rooney is pit fake tp can't imagine he uses it here tux on the angle waiting for the swing and rooney wins it out the 3k to get clive cloud nine map one and it's a flawless attack side Delays any plant too. They will finally get it down, but they've used a lot to get to this position and see if they can actually get the kills in the back of sight. Yes, they are. Well done by Nags and Melser, but they need to find more. Nags is positioning there are so pretty. Just tucking barely behind that corner of the wall so you can isolate the gunfights. That was two key people to retake in this instance. He had the cove. That was basically their only shot. Now Jake is... Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he's the pop flash on the other side, all three of them are standing there, but they somehow still get every kill! That's the type of thing that Cloud9 has huge success with, and you can tell they're really confident in it. But, in this instance, when they already got some key pieces of util out, you should probably allow this to play slightly differently. Leaves Leaf and Rooney in a tough position. He's gotten it to be interesting. 45 HP though. Rooney's still close by. I suggest you move. Wow. They invest the reckoning early here. He has to dance around the pulses of the ult, the Viper Fire utility, stand. and the bolts from now too, and it's just way too much to deal with. Rooney's not able to do much more. Crew win the bonus. Gonna have to pivot. 20 seconds right now. Celsus can do it all. Rooney still has Molly's here as well. All the delay right now. And that might be what comes. He still has Ooh. a way to get out. He still has a way to tuck to safety, reposition, live to fight another day, and that day is now, but he's not able to get a single kill. Delays for just a moment, but the spike still goes down. Klaus weak. Now Cloud9 with three members remaining have to try to take this back. Crew have assumed their post plant positions. They've got back sight. They have two playing there, and Klaus and Melser. How do Cloud9 get back into this? Wait out some of the utility and then decide to pounce and go, but Zeppa gets dealt with execution style. Cloud9 falls. That's a fifth round in a row for crew. Jake feeling some pressure. He has a guardian. He's one of the few real differences when it comes to weaponry other than pistols, and it falls. Picked up by Zelsis. Oh no, he's spammable here. Yeah. All stunned up. No plant coming in yet for crew though, so quite a lot of time wasted. One day. Klaus is working the site beautifully though. Ooh. Blades could be everything here. Zappa's gotten one too. The co protecting Melsa for now. That flash in his face. Does he go? Doesn't have any mobility really. He has to wait it out. As soon as he looks down for the cloud burst, he gets swung on. Pit in, leaf down. One player currently posted up a dugout. The spike has been planted. Rooney playing around with the Sheriff. There's just so much to look at here. There's so much utility. You see the cove. Rooney doesn't even get a chance to fire the weapon. Again, indicative about how of how dominant of a performance it's been by crew. Leaf at least keeping a flawless away, but Kesnit, I mean, all of To actually deny this pinch, the Reckoning's coming in as well. They're gonna have to force him to spawn here. Is it gonna work out from crew? Yes! Both kills! Rooney, Rooney really, and Leaf were both in such a good spot to trap crew in with the Reckoning, just causing havoc above them but they were just pushed over. Look at this insert too as well. Nags is coming into the backside right, right here in A main. He's gonna be able to pitch these two players on site so easily. It's all about these fights that are happening on site. You have to keep an eye on the clock too because Jake, who's now gonna be showing up on this late flank, by the time he arrives, the play is, play's left. over. Look at the discipline. Where, where was this crew? Really well drilled. Even the reaction there. And there's a first pick. It's interesting too, this cascade is so deep. Before the 13-0. It certainly has all the makings of it. This will inevitably be the route. No, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. There's time here. They're not gonna be able to punish Leaf at all, but he gets stunned up with this too. Time running down. Two back there, you see the first Leaf nano. Leaf has knives. Oh, what a flash. Flash out from Klaus. They're both oh. right next to each other. Leaf getting one with the blades, the second not falling. And that's 12. Melza gets a free kill here. Unless Jake does something about it. He does. Problem is, it's not Nags. Final boss is still up. 
Look at the aggressive position that they've taken. Again, two members down for Cloud9, just like that. The time is taken, though. They got to clear. Oh, flash up. Dude, what on earth did we just watch? And somehow it's a 3v2. Kesna gets it. 3v1, Leaf to hold off the 13 0. To avoid being on the wrong side of history, he's gotten into a 1v1. 15 HP left. There's no time right now for Klaus. He has Klaus to make has a play. To, he's got to push it. Oh, he decides to go back. He decides to go back, and Leaf's just playing with him. Can he get the kill? Oh. You see Kesnit already getting pushed off at that angle. Yeah, Flash gives weird information, though. And this is what Wyatt, Sean, everybody was talking about. Baby Bay talking about how you don't want to give time for Kesnit to actually heat up. He's going for more. That's a little overcooked, but. It looked like he was just going for the jugular there. Well, that molly actually prevents Leaf from following up. What is that shot? Maybe Melsu. it's Leaf who's got to heat up. Like hey, Melsu just walked into the molly too. Tried to play with a really small timing window. Toxins going up. 3v3. All members of crew are healthy, except for Klaus. Now he's dead. There's really nothing he can do from that angle. So through all of that time that was invested in him repositioning it all, so it's all for naught. It's a save. So the high tied up right before the Viper wall goes down. So there is no gap in coverage. But like now Cloud9 using some of their own. I like this from Zelsus, a very shallow wall so that he could potentially get this plant down with 25 seconds is really important. Cove can be used. Followed up high Jeez, cascade as well so they could push back side. And still land in an unconventional position, Melser. Looking to get the second, somehow does. This might be it. This is it. Yeah, they finally put them away. All you gotta do is take down one singular leaf. Oh. Alright. Rudy made it exciting at the end there, but a little late, Bird Crew finally take down Cloud9 on Pearl. And once again, it's gonna be a full 5v5 retake that you're seeing fast from Cloud9 here. The Trailblazer comes in the paranoia as well. They could even start to tap this early. I didn't think they were Trap gonna commit up. to this, but they flash out, they wanna take the fight. They're gonna push out mid, holy smokes, Jake. He's mid air. That was gross. And they're sticking, no, they're sticking. What? And what? it's another 1v3 from Leaf on the pistol too. <laughs> right there, exactly. Yeah. How are they gonna get past that? Well, they just cleared out. And that's gonna, Raise the alarm, Snag's turning around, waiting for Leaf, cleans him up, and are you expecting two? Because right now, Jake is in a really good position to make a play. Spike planted. Just trying to bait him in there. Look at this, they're both out right now, back sight. Jake does a great job just waiting for that pushback up from Nags. And you expect him to try to be pacey in that situation, but it's gonna be all on Jake to clean this up by himself. A flash in his face, the turn is there, and three swing. He only takes down one, his crew get on the board. Even that one? Got Wanna go be in there. We are gonna push into some of this utility. There you see the Seekers that were just cleared out. Kesnit takes a high ground. And maybe, yeah, they use Elsis' lockdown for an attempt at a retake it. here. This might be natable here, but no, Kesnit's gonna get off and he has the showstopper to get back in this. Two stars are already on the spike. They've got mollies as well. Leaf has dashed his way forward so aggressively. There it is, showstopper on. Is it gonna connect? It does, onto Zeppa. 5v3 in favor of crew. Consistently hitting those where others are missing. Leaf having to make a big play here and they're gonna swing it to four. They've got the smoke to cover one side and they've cleaned them up. But Crew with the counter punch, leaving Rooney alone and he falls as well. Out of the timeout, Crew win another round. They're gonna push their way into B once again and you see the Sentinels. The plan is still the same, but this time, Zelsa seems to be able to hold them back. The spike sitting on the other side of the wall on the other side of the smoke. A little bit of an error there from Crew, thinking that they can get through with that boom bot, but instead, they didn't really consider the change that this makes once this Viper wall has been shifted over here. This is brutal. There are no flashes to pop out of. There's no, there's no nothing. You just have to take this drive, and you're done. There's no way through that. This Viper wall. There he had. You should run. He had the TP to get out from, and he's not able to do anything with it. Meanwhile, the lockdown invested from the attacking side. Oh. But it leaves some gaps. Leaf has a gap in long, too. This is crazy. You never expect this. He might have made noise, though. Oh. Even if he did, it doesn't matter. Klaus, though, clean. Hello? Hello? Oh, so my goodness. Dead. He's so stuck. <laughs> Klaus with two big kills trail. there. 
Now Seekers used the 3v3 here. Spike does manage to go down. How do Cloud9 burst their way back into this? You have Zelsus. Seems to be the tip of the spear. He's made a couple of big plays so far. Kazna with the satchel. Zelsus is dead. Just two remain, and it quickly turns into one. Rooney in a 1v3. Kazna and Klaus both weak. There's still so much to do here for Rooney. For the Viper, who's weak himself. No one dare challenge. No one dare swing. There's the first waiting for it. Gotta hold on to it. This is the pistol once again. The paranoia from Jake. He still gets cleaned up. 2 HP from the that this Boomba. Is, this is really nice pressure out from Cloud9 though as they try to take Garage, try to pin Chin and corral what crew have. Yeah, that turret was normally watching and they've broken it. Which means that flank is available, that avenue is available. Davies against Leaf. Stop, this close is gonna be a problem, but the shorty is not. Focused on playing on sites when it comes to the C post plant. Right, they're both down already. Rooney swings out. And he's done. An 8-4 half for crew. And there are four who are pinching in. They're just on the other side of the smoke. Denies it, yeah. I mean, they're going to walk up into there's, two. There's no pop flash on the other side of it. There's no nothing. They just take the fight. That's and of course, it's two controllers who walk away with two kills. Oh, Zappa. Those frenzies for him, man. It's always getting one. How does Kesrit still get another there? And Davies was just locking down the rest of the map, by the way. Just the KJ Utilumpia and then Davies on C. Everybody from crew. And the frenzy of Zeppa just doesn't lose in these corners too no. up close. Yeah. Although that is an ominous thing to say. It does not. And there's just so much to consider. They don't have that much time. They don't have that many rounds to really experiment with it. No. So and they just send it through it. And it actually works out. The paranoia covers off the left side of B and then the trailblazer to go in too. So they've gotten some semblance of control, but this doesn't feel secure. No plant yet. They also have a cosmic divide for the retake and you're looking at Melzer flirting with the possibility of going for a flank through garage. Meanwhile, you see Rooney considering the flank potentially towards A, but that's not where it's coming from. They've got the turret out from Zelsus to, con to consider that side from garage, but I think if Rooney's gonna make a play here on A, he's gotta be pacey about it. And they can't get off the site right now. No, they're stuck. They're giving up behind the cosmic divide right now. Perhaps realizing that it's going to dissipate here soon, but Rooney's flank is covered. With the flank pressure too from Elzer, there's no way you can get back at fighting through this cosmic divide. Elzer's going to make an attempt at it, but still, they definitely have exactly what Net was talking about at halftime. About delaying the push back into it, and there's going to be a lot of people trying to get in from crew. Can they break through? They've gotten onto the site, they've gotten the spike down, and there you see in that exact moment, you highlighted it a few rounds ago, there's the focus, there's the dump of utility. Look at Zeppel playing on the inside of that smoke too, popping a flash, it's all delay, 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 delay. How does crew get back in? Just like that, I oh. guess they've been able to get two big kills. Jake looking up into the heavens to see if he can take one down with him, but no, he falls. Spam is missing, no way! Yeah, he's gonna get it the whole way. There's nothing Rooney can do here! Gets the kills, but it does not matter! The round. And Davies has taken the space back. Showstopper out. Here he fills, there's the Seekers. See Kesnit looking for something. the air! But the smoke is what's keeping him back, so they're gonna rotate off of this. And da Jake didn't even get the TP off. If he got that, maybe they have the C site to rotate into now. They're struggling, they're scrambling. They've been thrown into disarray, and Melzer with position to put him away. Spike on the ground, a 5v3. Crew in a position to pull off what everyone thought was unthinkable. What everyone thought was impossible. It should have been. The first few series, sure. Against a weak MIBR, why not? But against Cloud9. Here. An outrageous possibility, but Jay can snatch them back and he can do it on his own. He gets two there, Zelsus with another counter, now pit invested. Bit of room for Rooney to work. Maybe Nax can make a play, of course it's gonna be Nax. Spike He's gotten it down to a 2v2. <gasps> it's still up! Nags with another! No way, the lockdown gonna be invested! Rooney has to push this. He's gotta go. Well considered by Nags. The tuck though clears it out. There's the swing! He's gotten it down to 1v1. Oh no! Where's Davies? Just on the other side and he delivers the shot! Turns out this David has a stone and a slingshot of his own. Crew keep their glass slipper and take